What is up you guys and welcome to this vlog. Today we are going to make a pot roast in... Oh, are you gonna help me? Anthony is going to make a pot roast <laughs> in the instant pot. This is our first time trying Anthony's brand new instant pot. And yes, I say Anthony's because it is our and my anniversary gift to my honey bunny. <laughs> so he is going to cook a pot roast because this boy loves pot roast, and he's been getting pot roast at Black Bear Diner. Black Bear Diner, and they only have it on the menu. <laughs> so he's tired of it, and so he got all the ingredients. What did you get? It's right here. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so we got the pot roast. Um, three pounds. Three pounds. Every recipe I found was three pounds and it was for the six quart. We got an eight quart, so we'll see how it comes out. I and tried to adjust it. Then we got... Red potatoes. Red potatoes. Bite size. Beef broth. Sweet onion. I got sweet onion because I'm. we're going by our flavors. Mushrooms, because I like mushrooms. Carrots. Mm -hmm. And cornstarch, because there was people using different stuff to make their gravy. Mm -hmm. But I guess all you do is put that in cold water, and it makes gravy anyways. And what's that? That's it. Oh. That's extra uh, broth if I need it. But I, it said minimum of two cups. And then it basically, I mean, unless you want to boil it as much. I think as long as it's covered, it's good. But we'll see. I've never used it before. You want to get started? They say you're not supposed to cook a whole meal for the first time, but you guys already know me. Go big or go home. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. This is what it looks like on. Hit that saute button. Saute? Yeah. And then, I don't know if you have to, but push start anyways. Start? Yeah. It says off. Okay. Then push saute and just leave it. I, I did. No, no, it's off now. Push saute. There. I know. I told you to do it. Then it turned off. There you go. Oh. That's start. What'd you push? I didn't push nothing. Oh, you didn't start it. Mm -mm. Okay. So now it's on. I'm going to put some oil. That should be good. It's just to, to sear the beef. So they say, and I'm just gonna season it the way we season things around here. Okay. Cause we don't have a problem with salt. Well, yeah, we do. We don't have a problem with pepper. <laughs> what? And so what is this? We don't part? have a problem with. Cause I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna oh. just uh, just in case I have to. And garlic. I was gonna get whole garlic, but um. I, don't want, I want it to taste the garlic and I don't know how it's going to come out. We'll try that next time. Okay. Oh, I hear it sizzle. Lower it. I don't know how to I'm just messing with you. you can't. Oh. Why are you trying to do stuff? Okay, so this is a three, pa three pound piece of meat and from what I've read, if you cut it down a little bit, it cooks more evenly and um, consistently. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't know if I'm over seasoning it because I've never cooked in a pressure cooker before, but I'm gonna kick back on the salt because the broth, I didn't get low sodium broth. Oh yeah.
So three, three to five minutes each side. And you have to do it manually? This, what I'm doing right now? Yeah. Yeah, and it's, you don't have to. But if you don't sear it, it's just like any other meat. It's just going to dry out. All the juice is just going to flow out of it instead of, um, instead of cooking it. With love, you know what I mean? Oh. They're waiting for the roast beef to be done. <laughs> babies. Hi, babies. <laughs> Who needs the stove? So I'm drawing these in a little bit early until we have the meat outside the pot. I'm obviously going to do that, but I just don't want to over saute. So I'm just doing this kind of in a hurry. I'm not going to saute all the vegetables, just the onion. And with the sweet onion, just because I like eating sweet onion once it's cooked. Jessica don't eat the onion, but I could eat a whole onion as long as it's cooked and it's soft brown onion. So I'm gonna take that out and saute the onion. Okay. All right, you guys. So I don't know if I did it backwards. I'm thinking I did. I think I was supposed to do the onions first and then the meat. But when you put the um, broth in and you start rubbing the bottom, for what they say, it comes off, and sure enough, it's coming off. So I'm not really going to get much of a saute on these, but like I said, as long as I got brown onion, sweet brown onion, um, I think it's good enough. But it is getting the flavor on the onion. If you can see, the onion is not brown because of the saute. It's brown because those are the seasoned. So I'm going to put the rest of the broth in, which this is actually three cups. It said a minimum of two cups for an eight quart. So if, I was, if we were using a six quart um, pressure cooker, then I would have only put two cups. This is three cups, which I think is gonna be enough. But we'll see. And then we'll put this back in. Oh, also we're going, yeah, see, that's perfect. Ooh, um, looks done. <laughs> yeah. So also, we're, I'm first time, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some vegetables in now. I've seen a mixture. Some people put it on now, some people put it on later. We're gonna do both. So we're gonna put a little bit now, carrots and potatoes, and then we're gonna do some later and we'll see which one comes out better. All right. Okay, so those are the thicker part of the carrots. And I'm gonna put potatoes, but I'm putting my mushrooms last for sure because the mushrooms, I'd rather have a meth. Uh, a heavy mushroom flavor in the gravy than in the broth. These are like perfect size, huh? Mm -hmm. I was gonna get some. Man, I to cut those in half. So I went to the side to where the potatoes were, and sure enough, there are these bite-sized potatoes. Okay, so there's the potatoes. Again, we'll see if these come out mush or just right. For next time, we'll know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pressure cook it. And since it's the first time, depending on if we miss the mark, what we're gonna do is we'll be able to throw more vegetables if these are mushy and cook the meat longer if we miss the mark. So this is it? Yeah, let me get this off. Say a prayer, guys. All right, you guys, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I don't even know how this lid goes on. It goes on. Nope, let's see. Backwards. Yep. Oh, this is going on. Hold on, Hulk. You're gonna break it. There it goes. Good Lord, caveman. So turn off the saute. I think the. Oh, I like the little noise. I think the broth is good enough. There you go. You gotta switch to the iPad. <laughs> so if you take too long, it turns itself off. Okay. So it's on, air, nope, pressure cooker, an hour, 
which we're just trying. We'll adjust it after. And then it's on high. So you don't use the temp. And then, you ready? Yep. I'm nervous. I'm, I don't want to start it yet. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> That's it. Is that it? Yeah. So what it's going to do is it's going to pressurize <laughs> and then it's going to start <laughs> counting the cook time. I hope so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that thing is... Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. You got to push that in. And then it'll pressurize. Okay. Because they say some people, they don't prep push that because it's new to them. And they're sitting waiting for it to start cooking and it never oh cooks gosh. and it's all boiling on the inside because it never... Well, let's hope we did it right. I've been watching videos for three days. All I'm not right. just doing it. Okay. Ready? All right, yep. All right, you guys. I'm scared. <laughs> I... <laughs> Okay, so we left it for 15 minutes over the hour, and I did have it backwards in the beginning, but it took me about five minutes to figure it out. That's how it's supposed to let it go? Yeah, there's all the air. As soon as it's done and you do that, I, uh, usually it comes out all fast, all crazy. Anthony is so impatient, guys. He wants this thing to pop out. Ooh. Let's see. Yep. Overcooked for your taste. Oh. Yeah, no. Well, let's get this out. Oh, look at that. Oh. It's done. For sure. Melting your mouth. But you don't have to take it all out, right? Well, I got to do the gravy and we got to do the, oh. the extra vegetables. Oh. Look at that, you guys. Do that. Oh, oh forget. Hey, you know what? Black Bear just messed up. <laughs> we ain't ever getting that at Black Bear no more. This is the bigger piece, though. Let's see. It can do a little longer for the big piece. Let's see this piece. Oh no, this piece is done. Wow. <clears throat> all right, we're gonna take all this out and then Anthony's gonna do the gravy. A few more, no, we're gonna do more vegetables than the gravy. Okay. What are you doing? Well, I've never done it before, so I'm trying to make this gravy. It says two tablespoons, two tablespoons of cornstarch to two cups of broth. And I know we got three cups of broth, but I'm starting with two just to see how fast it is all fast. It looks almost like gravy already, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, there's a piece of meat. I threw it back in there. That's a lot of vegetables, huh? So I'm supposed to take this all out so that way I can make the gravy easier. So we'll just do it like it said. I've never made broth, so I don't know. I don't think gravy I need gravy. Or gravy, yeah. It doesn't have to be gravy, gravy. It's just as long as it gets a little bit thicker. Or simmer. It says let it get hot, let it simmer, and then it should start getting thicker. It didn't take too long to boil earlier. Okay, but we'll see. Wait. All right, you guys, this is what it be looking like. That's what it is. And then we're going to try it just plain. All right, guys, Anthony started without you guys. <laughs> How was it? Good. Good? It's good. 
I haven't really gotten into the meat, but the character good. Yeah. Mm hmm I'm gonna keep going. Alright you guys. Sorry, my fingers away. This is a really good. Probably one of the best that I've had, pot roast. Knock it off. For us? <laughs> yeah. Oh good. I'm happy to please. We just need to adjust. A little bit of salt. That's it. Other than that, it's good. The the only thing is I think it took too much time. <laughs> Like to do, like the whole process. I thought the whole point of this was like it's supposed to cook fast. Like, how come you couldn't just well, put everything in and it all cook by itself? It's, just, it it's because the pot roast. No, it's because of the vegetables. We didn't want. We didn't know if the vegetables were. So gonna be now that bad. we know, we can do it next time, like all in one. Yes. So next time, what I would do is I would cook it for forty-five minutes, and then I'll cook the last fifteen to twenty minutes with vegetables, and then it would be done. Okay. okay and another thing is that i've never cooked pot roast but according to people pot roast tastes like three four hours just to cook oh, okay so now you're you're talking about a roast a, a slow cooking pot roast done in an hour so that's big time difference mm. yeah well there you go guys all right you want in off well, this vlog well yeah i mean i've never cooked a pot roast and you said it's one of the best you've had so i think the machine makes a big difference yep very good Yep. Well, now We're closing out this vlog. vlog for today. Yep. Thanks for watching. Big thumbs up. Get yourself an instant pot and learn how to cook. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next time.